In time history in the Manhattan District Attorney's race as Alvin Bragg becomes the first black elected official to that office. Let's take a look at the latest numbers here. He is leading with 83% of the vote tonight. Let's get to CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas covering this race, and she joins us live from Lower Manhattan. Andrea? Well, you know, Alvin Bragg is in Harlem tonight celebrating with his supporters. That is the community that he calls home. He told me that he hopes to use his lived experience coupled with his 20-year career to inform his policies. Tonight, he told his supporters this really feels like a full circle moment. That life experience includes being stopped at gunpoint by police, but also having family members being in and out of the system and then fighting for justice as a chief deputy attorney general in New York State and a federal prosecutor. Now, he spoke about disparities in the criminal legal system, providing supports for those returning home from incarceration, and providing resources for those with mental health illnesses and substance abuse issues. But he says his most urgent issue is addressing gun violence and decarcerating Rikers Island. We have been giving a profound trust tonight uh, to, to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, and we've heard Mark talk about it, we've heard Brian talk about it. The fundamental role of the district attorney is to guarantee both fairness uh, and safety. That is the trust that's been given to me on the ballot, but given to all of us. That's what we've worked for, to show the city uh, and the country a model for pairing partnership, pairing fairness and safety into one. And current Manhattan DA Cy Vance called Bragg to congratulate him tonight. Bragg will only be the fourth Manhattan district attorney elected in the last 80 years. Again, the first African American in that role. Reporting live from Lower Manhattan, Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thanks.